graphene and its synthesis what is graphene graphene is an uh, atomically thin two dimension sheets of sp2 carbon atom that structure is looking like a honeycomb structure so the carbon atom are sp2 hybridized and it is two dimensional it has many applications just like it has high mechanical strength electrical conductivity and many more two approaches are used for the synthesis of graphene top down methods and bottom up methods in case of top down method the carbon source as a starting material graphite is used and the layers of graphite are extracted and these are converted to the graphene and this extraction can be performed by different methods some of these include mechanical cleavage exfoliation etc in case of bottom up method the simple carbon molecules are used to construct a pristine graphene in this case the carbon at the atomic level it will agglomerate it will produce nano size material that is graphene and this can be done through chemical vapor deposition epit axial growth on the substrate first method is top down method in case of top down method the starting material will be graphite we know that the graphite is a multi layer and these multi layer are bonded with each other by weak van der waal forces so these weak van der waal forces are overcome and these are break through different phenomena and a single layer of graphene will be produced so there are many mechanism for this exfoliation that is mechanical cleavage we can remove this graphite graphene layer from the graphite through mechanical cleavage liquid phase exfoliation oxidation exfoliation etc and from this multi layer graphite a single layer graphene will be produced the first exfoliation will be done through mechanical cleavage mechanical cleavage is the method to isolate graphene by peeling it off from graphite flags using adhesive tape so in this case we will use adhesive tape and the pulling pressure of the adhesive tape will be enough to break the weak van der waal forces between these graphite layers and we will get a single graphene single layer graphene so if we look at this diagram the blue area is adhesive tape and the gray portion is graphite so by removing the adhesive tape it will remove some of the graphite layers with it so if we look at a and b there is difference of the graphite layer so here a few layers of graphite are left and in a there are many layers of graphite that are removed by the uh, adhesive tape so in this case the adhesive tape is again put on the graphite and it will again remove some of the graphite layers so if we look at this see there are very few layers of graphite so by repeatedly performing this process we will get a single layer graphene this single layer graphene will be uh, put on the substrate that is silicon silicon dioxide and the glue will be dissolved using acetone so all these uh, sketch will show the uh, mechanical cleavage that is exfoliation done through the mechanical cleavage this is adhesive tape and the graphite layers are removed by repeatedly performing this process we will get a single layer graphene second exfoliation method is liquid phase exfoliation so in this case we will get the graphene in liquid phase so graphite is dispersed so this is the starting material that is graphite it is dispersed in some organic solvents and the surface energy of this solvent will be enough to break the van der waal forces between the graphite layer and it will be then sonicated in ultrasonication bath and the single layer graphene will be produced that are dispersed in the uh, liquid phase so in this case the graphene will be obtained but it is in liquid phase third exfoliation method include oxidation exfoliation 
So due to the several functional group that is epoxide and hydroxyl, the graphene oxide that is produced during this process will be hydrophilic and it is easily dissolved in water. But first we will produce this graphene oxide. So the graphite will be used as a starting material. On oxidation, it will produce graphite oxide. Now it is graphite oxide, which means that it is multi-layer, but it has oxidation uh, and it has oxygen containing functional groups. By by mechanical or chemical exfoliation, this graphite oxide is exfoliated into graphene oxide. Now, this graphene oxide, it has oxygen groups and it is easily dissolved in water by stirring or sonication. During this process, this graphene oxide layer will get negative charge. Now, the graphene, one graphene oxide will not form bond with another graphene oxide and because they have negative charge and they will repel each other. Now, the layers of graphene oxide will become separated from each other. Now, this graphene oxide will be reduced to reduce graphene oxide that has properties almost similar to pristine graphene. Second approach for the synthesis of graphene is bottom-up method. In this case, we will start from the atomic carbon and that we, then we will produce graphene from it. So it will include epitaxial growth. Epitaxial graphene growth is a substrate-based method where isolated monolayer of graphene is grown on single crystal silicon carbide under vacuum. So first we will take silicon carbide as substrate. And when this substrate is heated up to 1300 degrees C, the silicon atom desorb by sublimation and it will leave this substrate and the carbon atom will remain on the substrate. Now the carbon atom, it will undergo reorganization and it will produce a graphene layer on the substrate. Second bottom up method is chemical vapor deposition. So in case of chemical vapor deposition, a substrate is exposed to gaseous compound and these gaseous compounds are decomposed on the substrate at high temperature and upon cooling of this substrate, the hydrocarbon compounds undergo nucleation or precipitation and it will produce the desired product. So in case of graphene, normally the nickel and copper film are used as a substrate and the methane gas is used as a precursor gas. So when it is exposed to it, it will undergo decomposition at high temperature and upon cooling of the substrate, it will undergo the precipitation or the process of nucleation and it will produce the graphene sheet. This will show a summarized picture for top-down and bottom-up approach for the preparation of graphene. In case of top-down, we will use graphite as a starting material and it will be converted to few layers or mono layers of graphene. So, micromechanical cleavage, the graphite is converted to a few layers of graphene. Through liquid phase exfoliation, the graphite is converted to few layers and finally it is converted to the monolayer graphene. From oxidation exfoliation, the graphite is converted to the graphene oxide and further it will reduce to reduced graphene oxide that has properties similar to graphene. In case of bottom up approach, two approaches are used. One is known as chemical vapor deposition and the other one is deposition on the silicon carbide substrate.